A manhunt that stretched from Texas to Puerto Rico. Authorities chasing down a man accused of impersonating a Navy SEAL right down to his purple heart. Here's ABC's Clayton Sandell. Police say Carlos Luna Gonzalez told fake war stories, but his arrest is quite real. Luna Gonzalez was busted for impersonating the best of the best. A Navy SEAL. He allegedly wore this SEAL uniform, even claiming he'd earned a Purple Heart. But his story didn't check out with a Texas sheriff, a veteran himself. He set up a sting, allegedly catching Luna Gonzalez, accepting a rifle as a gift for his so-called service. He's now facing extradition from Puerto Rico. He hasn't entered a plea. He couldn't even shine the, shine the SEAL's boots, as far as I'm concerned. Stolen Valor cases are common. This man recently claimed to be an Army Ranger. Why don't you just admit you're phony? And was confronted by a real veteran who noticed his uniform wasn't quite right. All right, why is your flag so low on your shoulder? It should be up here. Got me on that one, bud. This man wasn't charged, but the Federal Stolen Valor Act makes it a crime to benefit from pretending to be the real thing. Doug Sterner helped pass it. Stolen Valor is not a harmless crime. It's a lie. It's deception. And David, you would think that something as special as a real Purple Heart would be very hard to get, but I just bought this one at a military surplus store here in Colorado Springs. It is authentic, and it only cost me 40 bucks. David? All right, Clayton, send out tonight from Colorado. Clayton, thank you.